Hi everybody, it's Brock. This is a quick demo of Universe SQL. What I'm going to do is to actually use the Snowflake console to create an iceberg table uh, and query these tables with Universe SQL. I'm using the Snowflake sample data, which is available to all the Snowflake accounts. I have a replica table here and I created my volume, which is pointing to my GCS bucket uh, that will have the iceberg table in it. And I'm going to create a dynamic iceberg table with the SQL definition that is using my native Snowflake tables uh, with the target lag one day. So that helps me mix the iceberg tables with the native tables if you already have a bunch of native tables running on your Snowflake account. So once I run this uh, query, this is going to create a um, bunch of target files in my GCS bucket. Uh, as you can see in here, um, the parquet files and iceberg snapshots and metadata files uh, in the same uh, directory. That way, I'm able to use the activity to query these files from my local environment. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and start Universe SQL locally, which is going to connect to my Snowflake account uh, and be a proxy layer in between uh, DuckDB in memory DuckDB and Snowflake. At this point, I don't need my uh, Snowflake credentials. This is just a proxy, but if I want to connect to uh, Universe SQL using the Snowflake connectors, it can be any connector. I need to define post and port, in post, uh, and port, port information. This actually points to my local environment. So there is no extra server like proxy server involved here. Um, when I run this, this Jupyter notebook also runs in my local environment. It's going to create a local session. Next up, I can run uh, a metadata query. Universe SQL is sophisticated enough to understand this is actually uh, a Snowflake metadata query, which doesn't require any warehouse, and directly route the query uh, to Snowflake rather than running it in uh, DuckDB. But if I query my dynamic iceberg table, which I created recently, it's going to pick up the uh, Snowflake uh, iceberg snapshots, snapshots and download the parquet files from my GCS bucket and create a DuckDB in memory instance, uh, mount my iceberg table uh, and run the query using your local hardware's like resources. It is downloading the files at the moment. Once it downloads, uh, the subsequent query, uh, queries are much faster because everything is uh, cached locally. If you have a partition table, then we will only download the relevant data uh, in a way that will be lazily populated. Uh, the cache is lazy, lazily populated. So here, let's look up the local environment. I see a bunch of parquet files being created. It took a while because my network is not quite great. So I'm just going to run this query again and see how long it takes. So it took less than a second, uh, which is expected and great. But I want to do something more complex. So I want to look at this table uh, that has 1.5 billion rows. Uh, and I want to run a group by an aggregation query. So this is going to use more CPU because like, even though I have my data cached locally, uh, it needs to process all this file using the DuckDB instance. And how it does is to create this uh, database in memory database and mount the iceberg, uh, iceberg table uh, respectively. It actually took less, like 15 seconds, uh, which is pretty good. But I want to do something a bit more interesting. So I have a metabase instance running locally. And in this metabase instance, I connect the Snowflake, but I want to switch it to my locally running Universe SQL instance and save the credentials. And this worked fine. I'm going to go ahead, exit the uh, admin panel and looking at my dynamic iceberg table. Let's see if I will be able to pull my data. So. Metabase is actually querying Universe SQL, and Universe SQL uh, runs all the compute in your local environment, uh, pointing to 
the locally cached files. Uh, so there is no warehouse, Snowflake warehouse involved in here. Everything runs locally. And let's do a bit more interesting stuff. Uh, I'm going to run Cloudflare tunnel pointing to my local port. And this tunnel is going to create a public, publicly accessible URL uh, on Cloudflare. I want to use a cloud notebook interface. Hex is great for that. So in here, I have a Snowflake account connection. I'm going to switch the proxy and I'm going to add my URL here. Once I save it, Hex is going to connect to Cloudflare. Cloudflare is going to route the query to my local environment and let me use my local hardware uh, on Hex. So it looks okay. I'm able to run this query, which is fine. But I want to run something a bit more complex. Again, uh, the Snowflake like 1.5 million, million rows table. So here, Hex is running this query directly in my local environment, bypassing Snowflake. But if the local hardware is not like enough, then we can always wrote the, wrote the query to Snowflake to be able to use your cloud. But the point here is that if you are doing interactive analysis, uh, you can use your local hardware uh, to be able to do these queries like uh, interactive analysis much faster. Okay, that run. Uh, that looks good. Thanks for listening.